Hello, this is my collection of Penguin Classics. First up is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. He was a Roman emperor and this is really his private diary that was never intended for publication in which he expounds his Stoic philosophy. I found the book a little bit repetitive but it's a popular book and it was it was interesting to read the perspective of somebody from nearly 2,000 years ago who held a position of great power. Then we have Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, which is a short book. Um, I think many people read it in school. It's also a strange book about a merchant travelling down the Congo River in search of a mysterious ivory trader named Kurtz who has sort of built some cult around himself. He's gone native. It was the basis of the Francis Ford Coppola film Apocalypse Now. But for a book written in 1899, in some ways it's quite modern in style, but there's also a great deal of racism in it. Then we're on to the Sherlock Holmes books, A Study in Scarlet by Arthur Conan Doyle. This is an introduction to Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Half of the book is set in Victorian London, but strangely the other half is set in America, in uh, a Mormon community. The next Sherlock Holmes book is The Sign of Four, which is about a mystery uh, concerning Indian treasure. Then we're on to this huge book, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. This is really an epic tale of revenge uh, about a young sailor who gets wrongfully imprisoned in a dungeon and uh, when he finally gets out he, he uh, has this master plan uh, to get revenge on the three people responsible for his imprisonment. It's a really fun read, and even though it's over 1,250 pages, it doesn't get stale. And the, uh, most of the book is set in Paris in the mid-19th century. Uh, I would highly recommend this one. Then we have... A Room with a View by E. M. Forster. This is about a young woman named Lucy who has to choose between two men. You have uh, the lower class George and Cecil. Cecil is the more suitable match because in this Edwardian setting, uh, class structure uh, is a, a huge uh, part of life. Uh, society is shaped by it so uh, she has to choose between these two young men uh, some of the book is set in Florence, Italy and some back in, in England at her home then we have A Hero of Our Time by Mihail Lermontov which is uh, about a young man who's sort of uh, having adventures in the Caucasus region um, of Russia. Then we have The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli, which is uh, a sort of uh, rule book, I suppose, for, for ruling. Um, he wrote it really um, as a kind of uh, tribute to the ruling Medici family in Florence, um, but uh, during his own lifetime it wasn't a successful book, but now Machiavelli is, is, is such a famous name, um, Machiavellian is, 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 you know, used to describe devious people, but um, he himself wasn't really like that, but it's kind of a, a book that's very much outlived him, and uh, it's a very short book as well. Then we have Beyond Good and Evil by Friedrich Nietzsche. 
uh, this is a philosophy book. Um, Nietzsche's philosophy was um, very much at odds with uh, traditional Christian philosophy, morality. Nietzsche was all about uh, the belief in uh, a will to power. Um, the cover on this one is uh, very striking. Then we have Captain Blood by Raphael Sabatini. This is about, this has some similarities actually with the, the Count of Monte Cristo. So if you like the Count of Monte Cristo, you probably like this one too. It's about a doctor who um, gets very unfairly treated and uh, gets sold into slavery, in fact, uh, in the Caribbean. Uh, but he escapes and becomes a pirate. Um, very fun following him on his adventures. As he's a very smart um, individual and a very sort of um, moral for a pirate. Really fun read. Then we're back to the more Victorian, Gothic London setting with... The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. This is a very famous book now. It's essentially about one man who transforms himself into, into two versions of himself. His, his proper um, respectable nature and this very sort of um, debased, corrupt version of himself. Um, and uh, I really enjoy the, the, uh, the setting and the atmosphere of this book. On a similar note, we have Dracula by Bram Stoker, um, which uh, starts off in Transylvania and... Uh, most of the book, though, is, is, is in London. Um, and it, it's, it's really about a group of, of friends banding together to try and stop this terrible um, figure from, from, from killing. And uh, it's quite unlike many of the film versions you see. Um, but within the book... A lot of the tropes of the vampire genre can be seen, like to do with garlic and steaks and many of those sort of things that we take for granted now were very much established in uh, this work. Then we have Suetonius, the Twelve Caesars. This is essentially a series of biographies about the first 12 Roman emperors um, written um, obviously in the Roman era um, I, I found it enjoyable some of the biogra some of the biographies are, are much more fleshed out than others you know uh, but uh, I'm a fan of Roman history so this is kind of must read if you are Then we have Condide or Optimism by Voltaire. This is about a young man who basically, um, unfortunately, unwittingly, gets caught up in a series of disasters. And uh, it's quite a philo philosophical book, really. It's, um, it's about um, how, your perspective on, on how you see the world if you're an optimist or uh, a realist. And uh, uh, the young, the young figure in this book is um, at the earthquake uh, in Lisbon, for instance, and um, he is confronted with all these um, disasters. And uh, he has this assistant called Pangloss, who uh, always remains like eternally optimistic, even though it's a ridiculous position to hold. And Voltaire was kind of mocking that. Um, optimist outlook on life then we have 
The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. This is about uh, a scientist who uh, conceives a way to literally become invisible, which at the start he sees as this incredibly um, fun, exciting thing, but soon, um, rather than um, be enjoyable, it becomes this living nightmare as he's hunted down and uh, he kind of turns to crime and it, things just go from bad to worse for him. And our final book, it's a very good one to finish on, another Victorian era book, that is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. This is about a young man who really sells his soul to remain eternally young. Um, but he just becomes increasingly corrupt. And um, while he physically remains perfect, um, his portrait um, is uh, the only kind of sign of, of, of the terrible things he's done, that his portrait gets older and more and more um, hideous while he remains young for all these years. Um, but Oscar Wilde is a brilliant writer. Like This is written with such great style and uh yeah i would recommend this one and that concludes my collection of penguin classics um let me know your your thoughts on these books i'm always interested to hear your opinions and uh there will be more videos to come in due course but for now thank you for watching bye